Hey guys, Just from Gundamu here with another Gundam MSI review, and today we're reviewing Throne Dry. And uh, this is Nana Trinity's mobile suit. As you can see, it follows pretty much the same basic design as the others, with the legs and the upper torso. Of course, the variance is the head and the backpack. And the, the shields a little bit. Let's see where to start. Like the others, it stores its beam savers up here, which have this really nice red beam blade. I like it a lot. Fits into the hands quite nicely. Has these little dots here for connecting up there. Let's see. Comes with two closed fists. These are some pretty small hands, as mentioned on the others. Two gun hands, and two regular hands for the swords. You can see her gun here, which uh, also can open up and turn into this extender to plug into her brother's Jaimungus laser cannon to help power it. Got kind of an interesting shield over here. Just kind of, it's just kind of there. There's not much to it. You see, it doesn't do anything. And we have this one here. It opens up. See, Nana's main primary ability is to block out, um, or maybe it's to stop other GN particles. And it's been a while since I've watched uh, Gundam 00, and so I'm having a little bit of trouble remembering. But uh, it opens up and it releases the particles, or something akin to that. I know you guys are going to write it down below, so, you know, if I'm wrong, you guys will let me know. But it just, it opens up, and it can control other units or stop them, whichever it did. I haven't watched Gundam 00 in a year, it's on my list of next series to buy. That's a little hard to remember. But a very cool series. Backpack can actually come off back in here if you want it to. So that's what she does. Let's go over the articulation. The arms have a joint in there by the shoulder. It's kind of an awkward looking unit, you know, like it's all skinny and scrawny in some weird ways. But cool at the same time, you know? Arm turns 360 degrees, 360 degrees, double jointed elbow. As I said, this opens up like so, so you can arrange this to come out of there. See? So I can plug into her brother's giant laser, which I will get that in a moment to show you with the other two. Legs, nice range of flexibility there. Double jointed knee. The foot has a lot of flexibility as well. Just uh, really flexible units, these Gundam 00 figures are. Now wait just one second, and I'm gonna get the uh, Hyper Cannon or whatever it is and show it to you. wife actually set this up for me the other day. I hope I didn't mess it up just now. But uh pretty much it goes like that. There's something very akin to it. The little laser plugs into the backpack somewhere. It may have actually come out of where it was, but you get the general idea. Whoops. I had this on my shelf and I was quite pleased with, with how it was set up. So I don't really want to mess with it too much. You can see he holds on to the, to the gun back there. He helps aim it. 
in here. And I just can't remember where this goes. My wife, my wife figured it out. But uh, it does plug in somewhere, I think into the gun. But like I said, I don't want to, I'm quite happy with how this is set up. So I don't really want to mess with it too much because it wasn't exactly easy to uh, hook them up. It's a cool pose. Anyways, Nana can do that too. This, like I said, plugs in somewhere to provide auxiliary power. And they help hold the laser so it can fire. And it's just very nice. Uh, the throne, throne, I'd swat and dry. Pretty cool figures. Definitely worth having in your collection. Well, for more reviews, make sure to leave me a comment down below. And uh, who knows? I might review it. And uh, if you're looking for Gundam MSA figures, make it sure to check out our store, Gundam's R Us, your favorite arms dealer. We are trying to see if we can get these figures for the future, but uh, we definitely have all kinds of American release figures and even some Japanese figures, and our merchandise is always changing. So make sure to check us out with the link down below. Catch you guys later. Bye.